I was online a couple years ago at like around 1 a.m. looking up old SpongeBob episodes as I was a huge fan as a kid, and the new episodes they show on TV are complete crap. So after going through bad quality videos on foreign websites and other sites flooded with ads, I came upon an unofficial website that had full episodes, ad free. Okay, the quality wasn't great, but better than most of the websites. On the bottom was a link that said, SpongeBob lost episode. Being the idiot I am, I clicked on it. I thought it was probably a screamer or something, but I clicked on it anyway. I was bored enough to click on the video and watch it. I totally forgot about looking for old episodes. The episode video had poor quality and the episode itself was pretty much forgotten by the writers. Like every episode, it started with the theme song. Then the title card read, Patrick's Leg, with the normal fun-filled bubble letters we all know and love. The first thing that didn't seem right was that after the title card, the transition, instead of bubbles, it was just a blur into the beginning of the episode. It started out like a harmless Spongebob episode, with Spongebob and Patrick watching the sunset. But then Patrick decides to go sandboarding, so they do. So far a pretty normal episode. Patrick then tries to do some sort of trick on his sandboard but fails. As a result, Patrick falls and loses his leg, also blood was coming out of it, and Spongebob goes after him to see if he's okay. During the scene, instead of the usual Hawaiian themed music, more suspenseful, serious music plays. Also, Patrick screams a more painful scream than he usually would. Enough that I could feel it. Well I guess that makes sense, he just lost his leg. Nothing that is too far out of the ordinary, right? Well other than the opening and the music in that one scene, it's going pretty much like any ordinary episode. The next scene takes place at the hospital, where the doctor tells Patrick he needs to be in a wheelchair for a little while. As they walk out, Spongebob is pushing Patrick in his wheelchair when they run into some girls. The girls started talking to Patrick because of his leg and ask if they can sign his cast as they walk away with Patrick, leaving Spongebob by himself. So far it's going like a normal episode. I don't remember what happened throughout the episode so I'll skip some scenes. This is where it gets creepy. Later that night, Spongebob knocks at Patrick's door. In the scene, the backgrounds look more realistic than usual. However, I tried to ignore it. When Patrick opens the door Spongebob tells Patrick that he forbids him to see those girls ever again. Patrick gets furious, not like he does normally. This is a more realistic anger, and he tells Spongebob that he hates him. The girls leave in fear. This is when I started to feel funny about this episode. Spongebob then screams, in an unusually deep voice, something like, Oh yeah? Well as long as you hate me, I can do this. And then starts beating Patrick's lost leg violently with a rock. After that, the screen goes to static for a fraction of a second, and cuts to a scene where Spongebob and Patrick are apologizing. For something during the daytime, except the lining of the animation and the voices don't match up. The animation in the scene is very poor, as if it was a loop, and it goes on for a good 4 or 5 minutes. I was very creeped out, but I wanted to see how it ended. The screen goes black for a minute or two, and then cuts to a scene from another episode, where Patrick has Jeffrey Jellyfish in a wagon, and says, Come on Jeffrey! And the screen goes black again. This time for only about 30 seconds, and cuts to a CG animation of Patrick cutting Spongebob's stomach open with a piece of broken coral with realistic blood gushing out, while looking at the screen with bloodshot dilated eyes. His mouth doesn't move, but you can faintly hear him say, I knew this day would come! With an echoey voice. You can also hear Spongebob laughing for some reason. The scene goes on for another three minutes, but nothing is heard but static which gets louder and louder, until it's unbearably loud. Then the normal credits come on, but with a very faint image of the last scene still showing. My god, that image will be burned in my mind forever. The United Plankton and Nickelodeon logo isn't shown like usual. After the video was over, it froze, so I had to reload the page, but it wasn't available. I couldn't even find the website anymore. Even when I looked up Patrick's leg, nothing came up. I understand if you don't believe me, but I know what I saw, even if it was at 1 in the morning. What the hell was I even doing online at that time?